Hey, thanks for stopping in to check out this quick video on how to make your own 3D Illusion Dragon. I want to start by first showing you what you're going to need for this project. You'll want an adult or a scissors capable person, your favorite scissors capable person. I want you to make sure that you have your favorite scissors capable person with you right now watching this video with you. Put a thumbs up give me a like on the video to confirm that you are watching it with somebody who can safely use scissors to help you with this project because that is the point of this Valentine's Day project to put us together so once you have confirmed your scissors capable <coughs> probably an adult is with you you will also need to find some tape scotch tape works best because it's clear you just need a little bit of that. You'll want some coloring things too, because you're going to want to color in your dragon. You'll of course want your lovely Valentine's Day dragon. And you'll want some cardboard to cut on, so that you don't damage furniture or any other things. Ta-da! The red. Because it's Valentine's Day. So, <clears throat> you'll also want some cutting tools. I like to use an X-Acto knife, but again, we want to make sure we can do that safely. So make sure if you are going to use a knife of some sort, that you have somebody with you who can use a knife safely. And scissors as well. Remember, we need a scissors capable person with us to help us. So I got the red. And it's best to color first. You can color after, but it's easier to color them first before you cut them out. And now, Doesn't matter too much if we go outside the lines, right? Because we're going to cut them out. Now, my printer wasn't very great. So, you'll see sort of ghosting imaging. Go for the darkest lines. Those are the actual image. I'm sorry about that. Oh, I missed some of those nails. I'll go back and get those nails in a sec. Don't, don't just grab somebody's markers or crayons or whatever you're going to use to color. Make sure if they're not yours and you need to borrow them, please make sure to ask. And maybe, maybe whoever you borrow them from will want to join you too. Once they see what it is you're doing. This part we're going to cut, but you still want to color down into there. Make sure you don't color in his eyes though, you want his eyes to be white. You can color them, you can change the color. Um, but it is best if they stay white. 
that helps the illusion better. So if you do color them, it's, I'd, I'd suggest doing a light color, if at all. There's two parts here that you can cut out or that you can leave. I am going to cut them out. So I colored over the line a little bit there, but if you decide to leave them, try not to color in those little white spots, because it's supposed to look like the spot between his wing and his body. Okay, I think... And if you don't get exactly on the line, it's okay. Do your best. Remember, what do we need when we're using the scissors or the knives? We need to make sure we have somebody who's allowed to use scissors or knives to help us. We want somebody to help us, and we want to share this opportunity to do a project together. Okay, that's all the bits I need that for. Now we can switch to the scissors. Make sure to cut my knife. Safety, safety. Okay, now you want to make sure you get all this frame, but I realize it's tricky to see it. So I'll show you as I cut it. So you can see what it to see the line that we need to cut along. So I'll show you that tab. That's going to be a tab that we use to put them together after. And I'm just going to cut straight down in. You can see those tabs. I'm just cutting straight back. I'll cut out the little V's after. Cut the bottom next into the corner. Okay, so you can see that there's these tabs, but I still need to cut away the little bees out of there, the little triangle things. we're cutting off, but we're going to cut straight down this line so that your sheep stays with the dragon. We want the sheep. That's his little snack for later, or his buddy. And then we cut around this part that says tab one. 
We want to keep tab one on. in on this little bit of an angle because we're going to make a tab again with that and the same on this side there's sort of a dotted line there that's what you want to cut along and same along the bottom here there's a little bit of ghosting though maybe on your copy that that folded piece of paper might be on yours or something similar go to this bottom line down here not this really thick one, but this one. Cut along here to make our bottom tab. Square, the part with the, the logo in it. Should be kind of a square where my thumb was. Got the ghosting pretty bad, but we want to make another tab just like we did on the other side. So draw the little line that looks like it'll make that tab for you. Tab 2 in this case. And maybe a thumbs up. Remember, hit that thumb, tell me that you like the video to confirm that you haven't had it with you or somebody that can safely use scissors to help you. Because we want to spend time with our favorite person right now, our favorite scissors capable person. That is the point of this Valentine's Day project, is to spend time with your favorite scissors person. Or people. If you have multiple people, that is allowed to, encouraged even, and in the description of this video, I'm going to put a link to where you can go to get more of these and different animals if you like them. And then you can make all kinds of your own anytime you want. Some of them are already colored. Some of them you can color yourself, like this dragon. I should have cut. Two more cuts before we start folding. We need to make two little circle cuts. And if you can't cut these, that's okay too. You can just take the little tabs. Once it's all folded, you can just take them without putting them into these little notches. So, as you can see, we have the tab one. It looks kind of like a thumbs up that you want to make sure to smash that like button to confirm you like this video. And tab two. We also have this box at the bottom with sort of diagonal tapered edges. We have our dragon with his ears, his tail, and these tabs that are sort of sort of like teeth looking kind of things right now but those are what we're going to use to put them together with we might want to use a straight edge i'm going to use a ruler so the folds that we need to make actually before i start folding i'm going to make sure these little slits are are ready see those are the slits we made Okay, now our folds basically happen at each of these kind of corners. I didn't do a very good job cutting. There are lines printed on, I should mention. There are lines to help you to know where to fold, but because of the printing, they're a little hard to see. So you can just refer to these points to help with your folds. And then again, when we do some other folds uh, up here, it'll be the same. So I'm going to start with this one down here at each of the spots that the corners happen. I 
and we need to fold this in. On the sheet, it will say mountain or valley for the fold type, the way you're supposed to fold it. This one would be <coughs> uh, mountain, I think they would call that. And then we make another mountain here. This corner, our box here, the corner of the box on the bottom, and where the wing touches. First fold is right at the top of those two eyeballs. Oh wait, we want to go valley with this one, right? Mm -hmm. So we get right at the top and those two eyeballs. So pretty much where the, the cuts are on those little tabs. That's that's where you're lining up on the one side, and then uses eyeballs on the other side, kind of idea. start with his head. So kind of fold these down ahead of time, those tabbies. And then you don't actually have to fold his head. Well I guess we can fold his ears up. I'm gonna fold his ears up just so that they stick up a bit and look kind of cute. Okay. You just kind of bend his head around a little bit. direction to the way we folded them, but if you start that way, they're kind of in the way. Now we take our tape, just a little bit, and start on the innermost one, kind of hold it together, tape, so that it looks like that on the inside. And we'll do that all the way around all the tabby spots.
there is our 3D Illusion Dragon. Ready to go. A little tweak here and there to massage them into shape. And there we go. And take that other side. So it's not that perfect, but I'd say we did pretty good. Give yourself a pat on the back. And happy Valentine's Day to you and your favorite person. I hope that yours turn out even better than mine. I'm sure they will, because you saw how quickly I threw them together. Go make your Valentine's Day beautiful, and enjoy your best friend's help. Your, your, well, not your best friend's, your favorite person with scissor-capable approval. <laughs>